ba ba da Day 2, Santa's Killer Instinct. Ole! Put your back into it, and don't forget the prayer. Imagine there's a real smug bastard with a super punchable face leering down at you. Then go like this. Saint! Saint! I call this one Saint Samurai Style! S saint <sighs> You follow instructions amazingly well. I never thought you would get this far in a single day. You soaked up my teachings like a sponge. I'm a little jealous of what a good foundation you knights have. Here, have a towel. Thank you, manager. Ugh, there's nothing better than a fluffy towel after working up a good sweat. I'm kinda wiped out too, boss. I'm sorry to ask so much of you, Tarask. I really do appreciate your help. Here, have some water. Oh, but don't get too comfortable. You need to stay fierce if you're going to get be a good sparring partner. Especially since you're helping me to teach her one of my fighting styles. Namely, pacifying raging beasts. Does that mean that all those sounds I thought were coming from a punching bag were actually... Time for your second match! That was sooner than I expected. Radamante, I've done my best to teach you the fundamentals, but I still haven't passed on the entirety of my style. So get out there and win, and we'll pick up where we left off. You've got it, coach! Ole! Hmm, it's so nice to have an expert around who still hits back after I surprise them with a the plancha. Now I have even more chances to practice and develop quick counterattacks. I wish you would stop doing that. It's exhausting. Anyway, you be careful too. You may have retained your combat senses when you got knocked down to being a demigod, but that alone is not going to be enough. I imagine you'll struggle most against those calculating fighters out there. Gracias! I'll be sure to keep that in mind, yes. I wonder where your opponents from the second match are from. Oh, foe. Oh? I sense some powerful fighting spirit indeed. That one looks like they'll put up a good fight. I can't wait to face them in the ring, yes. Oh god, my stomach is killing me. That other one already looks exhausted. I wonder why. Now, let's see who will be competing in this battle. Do the face reveal. It's... <gasps> Team Troy! Did someone say battle? Tch, I can't smell him. Ugh, it looks like I get to keep breathing for at least another day. This is hell on my poor heart. Oh man. If we ever do end up fighting the Greek team with you know who on it, I'm just gonna run while I can. If those two are here, then they must be. Yep, they're representing Troy, yeah. I didn't know fighters could represent countries and cities that don't even exist anymore. Oh yeah, Dark Cuckoo's totally cool with anything. Shouldn't that have been obvious since Caldia got its own team? Is that, um, 
Excuse me, but the way your weapon shines looks very familiar. That wouldn't be Durandal, would it? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, though I call it Dur Durindana myself. Oh my gosh, then... Just, if you're representing Troy, does that mean you're Lord Hector? Yeah, well, it's a little weird to be called Lord by a girl I'd never met before. Wait, on second thought, I could get used to this. Indeed, I am the one and only Hector of Troy, miss. Do we know each other from back when I was alive or something? I knew it! I'm Bradamante, a Knight of the Franks. I've heard all sorts of rumors about you, Lord Hector. One of them says you're Ruggieri Ruggiero's heroic ancestor. Then that would mean you're King Charlemagne's, and by extension my ancestor as well. Really? Well, I can't say I know too much about my bloodline af after I died. But if that's true, that's quite the coincidence. Uh, even more so since we're meeting for the first time and are about to have to fight each other. That's true. Still, there's something I've always wanted to tell you if I ever got the chance. Would you mind if I told you now? Of course not. It's not every day you get to meet your own ancestor, right? Oh, should I grab a pen to sign something? Okay then, here goes. Take care of your gear, damn it! Uh-huh. And I don't mean just a rondel. That goes for your armor, too. Do you have any idea how much trouble we paladins have had to deal with because of your gear? I can't even count all the weirdos we've had to fight. Your shining gear has been the source of so many conflicts. So, so many. <laughs> That's so... Sorry, I wish I could have helped out more with that, but since I was, you know, dead at the time. Uh, yes, that's, um, you're right. I'm so sorry, Lord Hector. We've just had so much trouble because of that gear, I got a little carried away. Man, you're an earnest one, aren't you? Is that what they call the student council president type? Whatever connection those two may have, it is of no concern of ours. All that matters is whether you are weak or strong. I am pleased to see that you look like you could provide me with a proper fight, though. I think I feel the same way. You two... You two remind me of a wild animal in its tamer, yes. Still, I may as well ask, why do you want to become the true Santa Claus? <laughs> as if the answer were not obvious. So I can use the power of Santa to kill him. Okay? Nani? I am told that Santa is a grantor of wishes. I have never needed nor wanted another's help in making my own wishes come true, for such is the mark of a weakling. But... If I were the one granting the wishes, then there would be no issue. None in my tribe could object to using power in such a way. And so, I shall become Santa Claus, and in doing so, I will gain the power to grant my own wish. I will, in essence, be using Santa Claus as a weapon, much like my beloved mace. <laughs> Soon, the time will come when the blood when the blood that is spilled at his hour of death shall drip from the name of Santa Claus. I'm not really sure what she's talking about, but I do know she's as singularly focused on her sole obsession as ever. Hmm. Usually I wouldn't mind the mix of pure and impure motives like this. But as I am this year's Santa, I cannot condone using the power of such selfish ends, no. You really think she'll listen to reason? That's, uh, not really what this berserker is about. 
Trust me. Uh, this is such a pain. This old man just wants to go home, but someone's got to keep the reins on her so she doesn't cause even more trouble. Even if it is kind of ironic that the reindeer's partner is the one holding the reins. And well, if she does manage to beat his ass black and blue, you won't exactly see me crying. He and I aren't really what you'd call friends. And if he can get his without me having to risk getting my ass kicked, so much the better. I can't say I'm surprised, Lord Hector, but I'm still disappointed that you would think to use Santa Claus's power for your own benefits. As a true and holy paladin, I cannot let this stand. Those of us with power have a responsibility to wield it properly, just like we need to take good care of our gear. So, you all have personal reasons for fighting today, Meow. I'll allow it. Go wild out there! In the red corner, representing Troy, we have the A Revengers! And in the blue corner, representing Caldia, we have the Quetzal Sisters! And fight off! I will show you the dance of victory. You know, I wasn't sure what to make of that at first, but now I get it. You're using that Samba thing to figure out how your opponents will act. I've seen it enough times now to recognize the pattern. Huh? Angry noises! Yikes, she's so strong! It's like fighting a raging beast. Raging beast? I understand now, coach. This is the time for me to use that technique you just taught me. One of Lady Martha's many fighting styles, pacifying raging beasts. Okay, assume the stance, fill my heart with devout prayer. Then punch with all my righteousness, saint! Did she just focus her strength to enhance her attacks? So you have a routine to strengthen your warrior's soul in an instant. Not unlike the Amazon's roar. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Queenie. Don't tell me you actually lost. Damn. Maybe I should have used that secret cologne I had made to kick her rage up under the notch. Oh, de Grease. Absolute rampage. Then again, if I had, there's a solid chance I'd have been the first casualty of that rage. Too risky. Your team's division of labor couldn't be more obvious, no. She is always p focused on offense while you are always playing defense. But now that your partner is down for the count, you will find that defense alone cannot win a match, no. Yeah. Uh, ow, ow. Lord Hector, I just wanted to check while I can. You wouldn't happen to know where Ruggiero has materialized, would you? You don't? Okay, I just had to ask. Ooh, our opponents were tough, but we are getting stronger too, yes. Oh, ho! Good job! Let's keep on winning! I'm not used to battles like this. This is all just so nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking? I think you mean exciting! Lucha Libre is meant to get you muy emocionada! By all of the dazzling techniques being employed one after another. Though, of course, it's even more exciting when you win, yes. Now, come, 
Let us all dance a victory samba to celebrate in style. Olé! Shake your butt. So they won. Good. This should help keep things interesting. This is a festival of fighting. Painful fights. Bloody fights. Intense fights. Fights to the death and more. I want to hear bones breaking, screams of agony, war cries, the sounds of battle echoing far and wide. For it is then that the true Santa Claus will be born, a Santa with the power to keep Christmas going forever. Now, who is my other half's next opponent? <laughs> I see, one of the four strongest teams. It doesn't matter which one wins, as long as the battle is fierce. The tournament is a truly wonderful invention. The result of one match feed dire feeds directly into another, and the loser's regrets weave together to push the battles ever forward. <laughs> Be warned, other me. Your true opponents are truly formidable. They are one of the four heavenly kings, the team that embodies growth better than any other. I look forward to seeing how you fight against them. Uh, I assume via Samba. So, what do you want to do? Should we practice for tomorrow or something? Ha <laughs> ha! Our combination is already perfect. Better con to conserve our energy than waste it. Besides, our time would be much better spent coming up with a flashy entrance for our next match. This is 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 technically laughing. If that's not a big enough hint at who it is, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs>